hello everyone welcome back to the series of tutorials on python for beginners we have studied uh, strings and numbers previously and in previous lecture we also discussed about the way we can enter or get input from the user and now in this tutorial i am going to discuss about some string functions so let us start let us suppose you have a string st and this is python so you can use multiple functions like you can capitalize this thing and for that you have to use capitalize function and now see the output the first thing is capitalized ok I have made a mistake here that uh, I already made it uh, capital so let's make it small first and now capitalize it right other than this you can also use it like this hello dot capitalize I can copy it from here directly and now h is capital so either you can store that uh, string in variable first or use string directly after that there are few things like you want to check whether hello ends with something or not or any string that ends with something or not so that you can use ends with function and if you want to check whether this string ends with he or not try checking for llo and now it should give us true because this string ends with llo similarly check if your string is in lower case or not so you can do it like this it is true now try to make it caps and now it is false if you want to convert a string into lower case so for that you have to use lower function similarly if you want to convert a string into upper case you have to use upper function or before that you can also check is upper so this is false but if everything is in upper case like this then it should give us true right so I will show you how can you convert to upper case first and this is converted to upper case right there are some other things in python like uh, if you want to check if some string exists in some uh, another string or not so maybe you want to check whether pi exists in python or not so what you have to do you can just check it pi in python this is going to give you either true or false you can check it for another string which does not exist so you can check java in python and this is false try to do a question which is related to slicing so can you think about it what should be the answer of this statement or maybe some another statement try to solve this for this another statement can you find the answer so let me first explain the reason and then we will see the answer so in this case when we are starting from here we have uh, no input or we don't have anything for start that means by default it should be zero so it will begin from the starting of that string and in our case string is python so it should be p and we are stopping at 2 or excluding 2 so it should be 0 1 so this first part will give us only pi and after this in this part we are starting with 2 so that means we are starting with t and we are leaving the and input so it should be whole string right so that makes python as a whole string similarly for this answer should be python now put all these things inside print function and see the output right so it means actually you can do one thing you can do st and then any index i and here you can put that index and this should give you the whole string every time right ok so now we are going to solve another question and that is whether a string is palindrome or not so let us take a variable st 
and that has al already been declared above and see if value is python yes it is python so if it is palindrome or not it might be difficult in some other languages uh, maybe you can try that in C first and then see the beauty of Python how it is going to check it for you this thing will reverse the string and then you can check whether this string is palindrome or not because ST is a string and ST and this whole thing is reverse of the string and this is false so now you might say that we have been cheated so I will take another string which is palindrome itself so I will take a simple string here a b a or maybe many b's now this is a palindrome string so we need to check st1 equal to equal to st1 and then colon colon minus 1 and here it is true right we can also check the reverse of a string using this and for python it is P Y T H O N. Right. So I think uh, this thing is enough for this lecture. We'll keep practicing such kind of things in coming lectures. So see you in the next video. Till then, thank you so much.